Hello, and welcome to a Friday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. Today we're going to do Friday, December 8th, 2023 crosswords, and go for that 1,379 day streak. So here's your spoiler alert for the Friday mini. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Minis always free to play. All right, let's do it. Uh, Mars, Mimic, Alexa, Roger. This is a pilot, palms, and a star. Bit of the Milky Way as in the galaxy. Brand that makes Milky Way candy bars. Mars Incorporated. <laughs> it's kind of a Milky Way theme here. Nice X there. Yeah, nice. Anyway, now for the main event, that's the Friday Daily Grid, which is by Robert Logan today. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. It's a very circular grid. I feel like that means that, uh, you know, these first three rows and the last three rows will be very, will be 9, 11, and 13 letters long. Should be pretty tough to start. Anyway, let's see what uh, Robert Logan has in store for us. Let's get into it. Boatloads or truckloads, so what? Kitty ride question mark. Utterance will hand on the Bible. Maybe it's vow, maybe it's I do. Comics sound effects. Pitiful, sad, city east of Tempe must be Mesa. Abbreviation below the name of some businesses. Maybe it's established. Highest degree attainable. Um, I think this might be nth rather than PhD. Question suggesting what odd behavior gains ground. Okay, defenses are prepared for them. Pioneer in the field of exobiology. Maybe it's Drake. Hmm. Question suggesting what odd behavior, right? Worker's end of your wish. Bonus, maybe. Indianapolis 500 venue with the. Uh, not sure. Stop complaining I didn't do anything wrong. Are you sure about that? So what? And yes. Figure whose name derives from the Hebrew for adversary. I think it's Satan. Drawers on chests, maybe. Tattoo artists. Bouncing a penny into a cup, fancily shuffling cards, etc. Middle of middle sex. Balance sheet quantity. Net assets or something. This could be Ontario. Artists of La Maya Desnuda and La Maya Vestida. I guess it's Goya. Uber Eats. How about that G? Slips his heirs. Get even with this tie. Uh, oh, Ottawa. Party tricks. Middle of Middlesex. Right. Tap room offering in, beef, in brief could be an IPA. Output of the world's largest manufacturer of musical instruments. Oh, interesting. An S here. 1977 best selling novel set in a hospital. Broke. Could be something like Tamed. Song title in both The Sound of Music and West Side Story. Maria. Certain verbal agreements. Amens. Stockpiles. Amasses. The verb, not the noun. Words that guide. Regards. And one's helping players get around. Join so as to work together. Five time NBA All Star Clay Thompson. This could be I. Third most spoken language in the world, I suppose it's Hindi. Blank does not protect you from love, but love to some extent protects you from blank. Hmm. Famage Bridge Site. Not allowing for variation. Strict. Investors considerations are risks. They contain fruit. What old memories often cause. What a nod might indicate. Payment option. Okay. Made them look. Preservers of crop biodiversity. Maybe it's seed banks. This is streak. 
barely in that sense. Cartoon character often seen sucking his thumb. Hmm. Linus, okay. Gave rise to. Entertainment reference that began as a Usenet group. IMDB, blank amendment. 2010's extension of the Kyoto Protocol. Tip jar item, maybe a one. All house speakers until 2007 was men. Uh, oh. Senior moments. Rhines, I suppose. This is bread, I think. A bid, like at an auction. Turned heads and Doha in Qatar. What's going on? A tire, like you're putting it on. This is debit, I suppose. Uh, you sure about that? Something like, wanna bet? This is Rialto. Satchmo, I think. This could be Creed. Caddies. Yamahas, I see, okay. The Brickyard. Art, maybe? <clears throat> Maybe it's Kujo and Oye. This, could, this is a yoke. Oh, you know it's not. This is want to make a bet. Areas to practice driving skills are ranges, like driving ranges. Key ride is a horsey. So what, shrug? Who does that? Okay, so it is, uh, I do probably. Shipments. Uh, Sagan, Carl Sagan. Center, I see. British spelling there. Thesis defenses. Uh, narrows the gap. No apologies. And coma. Didn't know the book coma. So we've got a 90 degree symmetric, left, right, symmetric, super symmetric grid here. Looks like a button kind of. Symmetry group is dihedral group of order eight. As my uh, group theory students would know. Uh, yeah, so I find these kinds of shapes somehow pretty difficult generally, right? These top, I mean, this one's very symmetric, so the tops and the sides are so long. Getting the crosses is really essential, I think. But this was kind of fun. This was fun. It wasn't a super fast Friday, but a fun one. Let's uh, let's look through this thing. Oh, yeah, let's look at the long stuff, I guess. Shipments. Who does that narrows the gap. Down here, senior moments. Turned heads and seed banks. I think those are pretty creditable stacks. Over here, want to make a bet. I feel like want to bet It's more natural, but... Drawers on chests. Nice little misdirect on tattoo artists, but I, I was happy to get it. No apologies, party tricks, the brickyard, net assets. So I'd say, you know, like, of the nine of them, net assets, shipments, pretty boring. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good ratio. Uh, anyway, let's look through this thing, see what we can learn. Yeah, this is just Middlesex uh, County in Britain. It's also a county in Massachusetts, and it's also a county in New Jersey, where I grew up. Middlesex Community College. There's also Middlesex County College. There's also Middlesex College. There's also the, the, the novel by Jeffrey Eugenides. But Middlesex is... There's also Middlesex, Tasmania. There are many. Anyway, here this is just saying how you would spell center in Britain. And I thought Yamaha, but I thought this would be like, you know, keyboards or guitars or something. 
but I, since it's plural. Yeah, you gotta sort of clue it like that. Didn't know coma. Who wrote coma? Robin Cook. Never even heard of it. It was adapted to a film directed by Michael Crichton. Okay, with all the New York Times bestseller list reaching its high position of number six in the fiction category. If you've read it before, let me know if I should read it. Yeah, the short stuff is not super interesting. Should we look at the Rialto Bridge? This famous bridge in Venice on the Grand Canal. I don't really think the Rialto Bridge is like particularly beautiful. I feel like there are more beautiful bridges in Venice, but it is quite famous. Ponte di Rialto. Yeah, just because a, a child would call it a horsey. Carl Sagan. Exobiology is like, you know, alien life. Yeah, I, I like the clue on Maria. Even though I'm not a big musical theater person, I do like The Sound of Music and West Side Story. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a nice Friday. I think it's a nice Friday. It's not super easy, but a nice Friday. Anyway, it'll be over average. Let me know if you thought it was a little harder than average. Six point three percent slower than average for me. And whoever else has <coughs> refreshed their xwstats.com count. Everyone so far has also gone slower, but that'll change. That'll change over time. Anyway, let's uh, let's do some more puzzles, starting with the Telegraph Plus word. Here's your spoiler alert. If you'd like to play along, pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. Plus word is free to play. It's a British mini crossword meets Wordle at the end. And uh, do it every day. Let's do it. Cake covering. That's probably icing. Dry forces impel. Cairo is the capital of Egypt. Induction. Invert. What is this? Memos are notes. An exam mark is a grade. This is a manner. PETA spelled the British way. Aired. Introduction. Introvert. Okay. Now to solve the plus word part, but it's just chasm. Just chasm. Yeah, Pitta. I feel like in the US you'd only ever spell this see this spelled with one T, but I think this is more common in Britain. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. Yeah, induction and invert also work, but so do introduction and introvert. And even conduction and convert. So interesting. Yeah. Nothing too British except for this pita bread. Let's go for the telegraph code words now. Fortunately, not free to play, but uh, quite enjoy it every day. To be fair, I don't play it when I'm not when I'm not recording, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Um, so, like these should be vowels. This could also be a vowel. And this is either an E or an O. It doesn't have to be a vowel. It could be like an L. Could it? Maybe it has to be, but this is definitely a vowel. And I want to say I. And then like this is an E. I'm 
not sure. There's not much to go on here. I guess let's just look at all the squares in the grid. Try to see if something looks more like an E than what we've seen already. I don't know. Oh, also, that would be good. Ah, this. I think this looks more like an E than anything we've seen already. I think. I think that makes this an O. Now, maybe this is like Rodeo? This looks like an A, perhaps? I still need two vowels here, though. So this is probably a U then. Could it possibly be? This could be a Q. No, it's not a Q. If this is a U, then there's nowhere for the Q, I guess. Hmm, both of these look like they want to be re record, but neither one of them can be. Ah. Uh, Maybe rodeo is wrong. Enter, maybe? Let's let's see where this takes us. This, oh, this doesn't look so good. Uh, so this part doesn't look very good. Like, what could this be? They're possible. Uh, no. Hmm. I mean, the rodeo was speculative, but just what else could it be? This is probably the T then. Like street, 60. That looks good. Okay, rhizome, it was ember. All right, that's better. Uh, Britain, that's pretty British. Brunch, all right, there's our U. Where's the Q now? This is the Q, right? No, this is the Q. What was rodeo? This is an octagon, ice rink, sleek, that's an L, joyful, so this is owlet probably, uh, pluvial, it's report and resort, there we go. All right, took a while because I went off on the wrong place. I thought this would be a vowel, but it wasn't. All right. Pretty tough code word stuff as far as code words go. Let's hope code words regular is kinder to us. As an always. This is an E though, right? And this is like agent. Look at all those A's if I'm right. Could be wrong. I think this is an I, right? This is a K. Maybe it's beatnik. Kebab, that looks good. Tastes good too. Amiable. Almanac. Chalk. Cuckoo, I guess? Where's the U? Sorry, where's the, where's the Q? That's usual and squab. Disco? No. Disc something. It's probably Azure, right? right? Packed lunch. Upswing. Fleet. Disc jockeys. DJs, I see. Uncover. And relax. All right. Quick code words regular. Basically, because it's had to be an E. And then it all sort of came tumbling down. Azure, right? 
It's got to be a, a mineral, right? Blue mineral. Quite beautiful. Never heard of it before, though. All right. Last thing we do before we go is the New York Times Connections puzzle, where we try to make four groups of four. And we've got lots of short stuff today. E is a television network, as are USA and Bravo and Hallmark. Hawaii, H I could be Hawaii, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Massachusetts. And then Alpha and Tango are both NATO phonetic alphabet. Oh, so is, so is Bravo. And Romeo. Alpha, Bravo, Tango, Romeo. Massachusetts, Lu Louisiana, Oklahoma, Hawaii. BET, I guess, is the other one. And then what's left? Yo, OK, Boo, Tom? All right, let's just go here. Having a hard time keeping it in my head. Bravo, Alpha, Tango, Romeo. NATO phonetic alphabet. And then we thought it was this. Palm, Tom, Yo, and Boo. Yo, Yo, Tom, Tom, Boo, Boo, and Pom, Pom. That's what that is. Where the syllables can be reduplicated. Blank, blank is another way to say that. And then Hawaii, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and... Massachusetts. There we go. That was pretty much the easiest one. Because they were all two letters and the only other two letter one was yo. But nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Saturday puzzles. See you then.